Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this solar camp shower that I bought from eBay and this was really cheap and I've actually had one of these before and they really do actually work, like you fill it up with water, put it in the sun and it gets hot and it comes with this tubing here which you connect to this so you can obviously shower yourself and then this just slides in the top as a handle so, let me so you can see this just slides in here and this just gives it a bit of strength for the top so you can use it as a carrying handle there you go, now that will be easier to carry once it's full of water because you don't want to put too much stress on this material. And as a comparison, I'm also going to put this out, which is a solar water heater. Now this one isn't for showering, it's more for drinking. You can fill this tube up with water and then you can put it in the sun, get nice hot water. You could use it for coffee, you could use it for sterilization of water. Let's say you're out like in the mountains somewhere, something like that. Um, now I am actually going to have a proper video coming up about this, but it basically sits in the sun like that. The sunbeams hit this and get reflected onto this tube here. So let's go ahead and fill both of these up and of course because this is from the hose the water temperature is going to be ambient temperature and you can see this holds up to 20 litres or five gallons. That's a lot of water. I mean you can any like any reasonable person can have a shower with five gallons of water easily. That's a lot of water. Now I'm not going to fill it up all the way because five gallons is just too much. I'll fill it up around half the way because of course the more water you've got in there the longer it's going to take to heat up. So I just close this cap so the water can't escape. And I would say, yeah, that's about maybe half, just under half way full. So it's still quite a lot of water in there, maybe two and a half gallons, two gallons. And now we'll fill up the solar water kettle. Like I say, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but just want to like have a quick test with it today. And then I'll put the lid back on the solar kettle and then we'll take both of these out into the sun. So now we've got the solar shower and the solar kettle, both of them sitting in the sun. Of course, the solar shower, I've got the black side up because that attracts more sunlight. It's clear on the other side. So we'll leave these here in the sun, let's say for 30 minutes or an hour. So the solar kettle has been out in the sun for about 10 minutes now and I want to check the built-in thermometer to see what temperature it thinks the water's at. I know I probably should have looked at this before we put it up here but it's only been 10 minutes so let's take a look. So it looks like it's at around 25 degrees Celsius. I can't easily see where I'm standing but you'll be able to see it easier on the camera. So now both of these have been in the sun for around 30 minutes. There's been some clouds that have come and go, so it's not completely perfect sunshine today, but that's more realistic anyway, because most days there's gonna be some clouds, etc. So you can see after 30 minutes, this one is up to around 40 degrees Celsius. Hopefully you can see it on the camera, I'll zoom in. So there you go, you can see after around 30 minutes we're up to 40 degrees Celsius. And the camp shower one here is so hot that I couldn't rest my hand on that. The black plastic really does absorb the sun. Now I'm wondering if it might have actually been better to fill it completely with water so the water is making better contact with this top surface because right now there's probably some excess air in there so it might actually be better if I filled this completely but it's definitely heating up I can feel that for sure. So both of these have now been out in the sun for around an hour. Now it hasn't been perfect sunlight because we've had clouds coming over, but that's more realistic because you know, there's always clouds. So I like the fact that it's been one hour and we've had some cloud. So right now we're measuring 50 degrees Celsius on this one. And I would assume this one is probably a similar temperature, although we can test that on the Fleur camera. Now in reality, you're probably gonna leave these out in the sun for more than one hour, but I haven't got all day to shoot this video. So we're gonna limit it to one hour. I'm sure if we left these out, both of them out for long enough, they're going to get up to like really really hot temperatures in fact I've tried this before not this specific one but another solar shower uh, very similar design and that one after like two or three hours the water was so hot you couldn't actually shower you had to mix it again with cold water so I know both of these can get the water very very hot if you give them long enough and I'm sorry about all the background noise by the way but that's one of the difficulties with shooting outdoors you need the sun but you also get a lot of background noise from cars and everything like that now before I hang this up and actually show you in action I just want to put some water from this into this cup so we can do a temperature check. Now I can tell you just by putting my finger in there that water is pretty hot. I would be more than happy to take a shower in that water. Anyway let's check with the Fleur camera. Okay now I'm not even sure if you can see the screen on camera and like I said the Fleur is not ideal for this because it's not really designed for or it's just not a very good method of measuring the temperature of water but if we point it at that you can see hopefully you can see this on camera it's reading around 43 degrees Celsius but like I said it could be like you know a number of degrees wrong it's not exact but yeah so okay I mean if I feel that that feels like pretty much what I would normally shower in. Now let's try some water from this solar water kettle. Oh my, okay, that one is really hot. 
that's definitely a lot hotter. <laughs> um, luckily that wasn't scalding hot, but wow, that was a lot hotter than I expected. So again, we're gonna check it and look at that. Hopefully you can see that on camera. That's reading around 60 degrees Celsius. Again, it's not super exact because, you know, it's not very good at measuring the water temperature, but I can tell you that is, that's almost to the point where I can't touch it without burning myself. That is very ouch. That is seriously hot water. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> wow, that's a lot hotter than I expected. So I'm now hanging the solar shower from a tree because this is traditionally how you'd use it. It comes with some string that you just wrap around the tree branch and you can hang it like this, works fine. And I've attached the hose. And I can tell you, I already tried this out a couple of seconds ago. The water is actually pretty hot. Like this is more than comfortable for a shower. And if you compare this to the uh, temperature of the ambient, like the ambient water temperature, it's it just feels amazing. This is more than hot enough. In fact, you wouldn't want it hotter than this. And this just took like an hour. Now, let me turn the camera down or point the camera down a bit so you can see the stream. So there you go, you can see it's actually quite a strong stream, but you can adjust it. If you want to slow it down, you can turn this thing here. You can turn it off completely, or you can adjust it so it comes out at a slower rate. And honestly, I, I wish I could like, somehow portray this better than just showing you on camera, but this water is hot. It's more than hot enough for a shower. This is probably what most people that I know would shower with this kind of temperature. So yeah, these things are really impressive. They're really cheap. They're good if you go camping. They're good if you're like up in the mountains or say out in the province because using electricity to heat water is actually quite expensive. So if you could do it for free using the sun, it's really, you know, it's worthwhile. And these things, you know, five gallons, that is more than enough for anyone's shower. So yeah, I'm happy with it and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.